Such mysteries. It runs through the heart of the land and into the deep blue sea. As I choke on the water, I'm lifted again. When it's time to face the Maker, His Son shall return to cleanse you from all your sins. She said with thunder in her voice. Remember, while walking the path, you always have a choice. Do you believe? She asks once more. My heart expanded as I was once again lowered. This time I emerged a tad bit slower. Feeling wise before I read the messages written in molecular structure, camouflaged by the essence of this body of water. Is this all that it takes to purify my soul? Well, I no longer feel like fragmented pieces, but whole. Once more, I'm dipped into the abyss to read the sacred scroll. I felt a hand that was separating from me while assuring me I was in control. To the bottom of the river, I would say. Images rushing through my mind, my mind giving me reasons reason not to think instead. Just be free. Feeling the currents as they make their way to the sea. Just, just be. Just like the fish swimming alongside of me. Just be, just be, just be. I held my breath for as long as I could. When I resurfaced, this angel must have disappeared into the woods, or maybe she ascended into the clouds. I heard a voice in the distance saying, "Make us proud." The sound of every creature in the forest then sang out loud. You are with us now, spirit brother. This spirit who baptized me descended from the clouds and hovered. If you ever need me, my wings shall spread to cover and shelter you from all that might try to ensue. Those reaping havoc and chaos while attempting to subdue. She said, I was the torchbearer. The forest can't care give up. Humanity's appointed healer. Most importantly, she said, I was a soldier, a disciple, a warrior of God. The healer. 